Today we are here at Atlantic Tropical Aquarium, which used to be my local fish store. I'm going to do a quick tour and show you all around, so be sure to stay tuned and enjoy the video. Alright, so here we are. There's not a lot of people today, but we're going to start off with the beta wreck. So there's a lot of betas. There's half moons, play cats, lots of varieties. They're looking good. There's also this tank that's always changing. There's always different fish here every time I come. Today there's like a hundred neon tetras. As you can see, they're looking really good. I used to buy my cardinals and as well as my neons from here. Really good quality fish. Some of the tanks they have, like this one, might not look that good, but their fish are super high quality. I've almost never had any bad experiences getting fish here. There's also some Anubias. Also some beta fish on top here. These are also some very nice looking betas. They are in cups, but I asked him about it and he said that they sell out pretty quickly. So that's good news. And they also seem very healthy, like a lot better than the ones you find in those big chain stores. All right, we're gonna start with those blue tanks over there and then we're gonna move across the fish room over there in the back and then come back here to the goldfish pond. So these are some of the newer tanks. They weren't installed here until like a year ago or a few months ago. There's a lot of different fish varieties and there's also lots of breeding because there's lots of live bears here as well as some cichlids. So down here, there's this Cuban yellow belly tank, as well as a row of Anubias growing. So I think those Cuban yellow bellies have been breeding a lot. There's so many of those fish here. Quite an interesting breeding setup. You can see the fish are looking very nice. They do look pretty similar to guppies and mosquito fish uh, this is another tank there's golden wonder killifish and some rotala in the back and also this bacopa there's also a couple celestial pearl danios this is where i got mine here's the pricings so not very expensive here there's micro tiger as boras the back, as you can see, can't get a good view. And there's also some chili rasboras here. All just for a couple dollars. Chili rasboras sell for three dollars each, which I don't think is very expensive compared to a lot of other fish stores. Oh, there's one down there. This is probably one of my favorite tanks in the blue racks. It's a really, really natural looking setup. There's hornwort, guppy grass. And a fluval stratum bottom, and also some duckweed at the top. And this is a really, really beautiful pea puffer tank. There's about five or six pea puffers that look absolutely amazing. Those pea puffers. I love the way they just stare at you. It's like they expect you to give them food. There's also a small colony of cherry shrimp. That one's just resting on the hornwort. There's also one down here, just chilling, and some more in the back. Let me see if I could get a good top view. Oh, never mind, it's too dark, but at least you can see a really good view of those duckweed. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I have to be careful, my phone's gonna drop. Right, here, there's scarlet baddies and some orange really shrimp. I actually got my scarlet baddies here, as you can see, they're pretty still. There's a blue shrimp, also a golden back shrimp. Down here, there's 
not sure if there's any fish here, but I do see a clump of eggs over there. Yeah, there's a clump of eggs. But no fish. Here's a quarry gang, albino quarries. These guys seem pretty active. Always swimming around, six dollars each. Again, I think those quarries are also less expensive than most fish stores. Like in big chain stores, you could get them for about eight dollars each. Here it's a lot cheaper. This tank, there's a bigger puffer. Doesn't want to be on camera. Also, this Anubius is flowering. That's only happened to me once. Only once did my Anubius ever flower. But that's pretty cool. Also, some Harlequin Rasboras. And some Pygmy Quarries. Alright, here there's some Tetras. There's green Tetras for $3 and Dojo Loaches. Yeah, the loaches look really nice. I love the way they move. They're kind of like an eel. Look at their barbs. It's hunting for food. The green tetras are looking nice. I've never kept them before. But they do look awesome. And there's also like two emeralds. Here's there's a guppy tank and some lotuses. About 20-ish guppies here and also this female beta. Female betas are usually good community fish. I mean, this is a pretty good setup for a beta fish. Not bad. It's a lotus. Another lotus. Some driftwood. Beta again. But yeah, this is also a interesting setup, and there's some Salvinia on the top. It's floaters. Right next to those tanks, there is a turtle tank. There's one turtle over there. It's just chilling right outside its cave. Fun fact, I got my first turtles here, actually. But not from this tank, it was from another one. I got them about seven years ago. Alright, moving on, this is a beta tank, there's three female betas here, female betas of course, I think they're koi betas, looking good. Here there's a comfa flower horn, selling for $175, there's a tiger barb tank, and a pleco, uh, albino bristle nose. Lots of tiger barbs. They seem super active. Here's a severum tank and some rainbow fish in the back. These severums kind of look like the wild fish from my local creek. As well as the wild fish in ponds. There is a dead rainbow in the back. Alright, here's a silver arowana. It's pretty small. He usually sells those that are huge. That little guy is selling for 120 Here's a guppy tank. Those are all male guppies, tuxedo guppies. And there's a common pleco just resting. Here there's some goldfish tanks. These are like the common goldfish. He's got some more bigger ones in the pond. The goldfish sold in the store are very nice. There's a lot of goldfish varieties, so if you're into goldfish, definitely check out this shop. There's another guppy tank, and there's a goldfish there. How did that get there? Here, there's more of these. These cichlids, severums, and rainbow fish. A lot of the tanks are like mixtures of different fish. This tank, there's two mono fish. Kind of look like the fish you would see in reef tanks, but those guys are freshwater. Mono fish are pretty rare around where I live. And 
Here's some blood parrots. $40 each. I don't know if that's expensive or not. Usually don't see them around pet stores. And there's some more cichlids here. And some other fish. Some barbs. There's also a school of tetras. I'm not sure what they're called. And here is the glowfish tank. Never been a big fan of glowfish, but they do seem kind of awesome in fish stores. Now the reason I don't keep them is because I think they're too artificial and they're just not really for me. Not a big fan of genetically modified stuff. They do look good here though. Lots of bright colors. Here's a Malawi cichlid tank. There's a couple of Malawis down there. Good fish. Alright, here we have a school of around 12 Rummy Nose Tetras. There's also these gold rams. They look beautiful. That one. There's three of them in this tank. Or four. Oh wait, there's a lot. Very active tank, this one. All the all the tetras are just schooling. Rummy Nose Tetras just love to swim around non-stop. Down here, there's another puffer and some cichlids. These guys are pretty regular priced. Well, I guess, I, actually, they might be a little lower than the ones at other fish stores that I go. Like, in general, this store sells these fish for slightly lesser prices, which is nice. And here's these saltwater tanks. The lights are not on right now, but when they're on, they look really awesome. Lots of saltwater fish. I don't keep saltwater tanks. And there's some Nemo's. At the very back here, there's a discus tank. I don't keep discus, but maybe if I get a larger tank, then I might get some. I do like their colors, though. Really stand out. Like this one. Alright, here. There's some ember tetras. There's a school of embers. And there's also. I think I saw a pleco there. This one was, yeah. There's one in the back. Albino pleco. Those ember tetras are just staying there, barely moving. Here is the Oscar tank. There's a couple Oscars in here that are full size. Here's a comparison with my hand. I would say these guys are about 9 10 inches. Also, some piranhas. Didn't know they could be kept with Oscars. But I guess Oscars are pretty big and strong. Here, there is this classical Malawi cichlid setup. I mean, every time I see a cichlid setup, I, f I feel like it's all pretty similar. Like, you get these cichlids, and then there's driftwood, no plants. Very classical setup. But the fish look really vibrant and active. There's also a pleco. There's just pleco scattered across all those tanks. This guy, I believe, is a gold sultan pleco. Yeah, it's a... It's a yellowish sultan pleco. Usually these fish are more black and white. But yeah, this is probably my favorite cichlid setup here. Super clean and good looking. Classical cichlid tank. In this tank, there's some Jack Dempsey cichlids and wild akiras. Jack Dempsey's are selling for $5 each, which is not expensive at all. And there's a lot of them here. Fun fact, Jack Dempsey cichlids were actually named after an American boxer. Because it represented their behaviors and their features. Alright, here we have a peacock cichlid tank. Also looks pretty nice. The fish are looking good in here as well. You can see their beautiful colors. His fish sell out pretty quick. I used to come here every week and every time I came there would be new fish, new tanks, new racks. 
So the fish here are generally very healthy. Very rarely will you see dead fish lying around. Right next to that, we have this 80 gallon saltwater tank, and he's selling the whole thing for $1,500. So you could buy the whole thing, just pay $1,500. And there's this eel. <laughs> it's just looking at us. And I don't keep any reef tanks, so I don't know if this is a good deal or not. $1,500 for the tank, and the eel, of course. It's part of the package. And here is the equipment section. So there's these filters, decorations, driftwood. There's also some rocks, serious stones, fish food, pretty much anything you want. And also these Seacom products. All the equipment you need in one rack. They'll sell for around regular price. There's also fish tanks for sale at the back. And here we are at the goldfish pond. Not exactly the cleanest pond, but definitely some of the best fish. You could just see how vibrant they look. All super active. Plenty of varieties to choose from. Really good quality goldfish. Rancho goldfish. Koi. He told me once that some people would just buy tons of koi for their pond. I would buy from here if I had a pond or a small lake. Here's some more goldfish. There's a black moor. There's a fantail. And we are back at the entrance. So recently he's also added some birds, these parakeets. They look pretty nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta be careful. Got too close to them. But yeah, this is the fish store. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Make sure to check it out if you live near Artesia, California. Usually there's a lot of people here, but at the moment it's pretty quiet. Alright, so we're back home now. Leo, the owner of the store, gave me some free duckweed, which I haven't kept for a really long time. He gave it to me for free, so we'll see how fast it could cover my tanks. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.